Elvis in the news for October 8th, 2013. I think that this uh, debago also will also stem with Social Security. I mean, not just with Social Security, but it also stems with the food stamps, too. Do you know, uh, last year, in 2012, we had 45, 47 million people on food stamps. Now we have over 120 some million people on food stamps. So I think we may have some kind of scam going on there where everybody's just getting booted. You know, a lot of people getting food stamps that shouldn't be getting them. It'll probably find the same trend there, too, as well. And I wouldn't say most people, but I'd say probably about a third of people that are getting them out of all the ones that truly do get them. About a third of that 127 is probably people that shouldn't be getting them at all. Because people just aren't going out and working. They've just gotten lazy, and they just rely on the state to do it when they need to do it. You know, it's how it's been all along. You just go out and get a job or do odd jobs, you know, build, fix things for people, you know, barter, do work and barter and trade, whatever you need to do to survive. I mean, that's what people did. That's what Americans did. And that's what we need to do if we have to. But as long as it's all legal, you don't want to do nothing illegal, like, you know, sell your body for sex or anything. You don't want to do that because that'll get you in trouble. You don't do that. But, you know, there may be people doing that, too. But eventually, you know, what if they are doing that stuff, they will get caught. I mean, there are children out there selling their bodies like that, you know, whether they have a pimp because they're being trafficked or whether they're doing it themselves because their parents may be putting them up to do it because some parents have been doing that in this country. They're finding out that's a phenomenon too. But the thing is, if that's going on, if they don't get caught here, God already knows, and that stuff should not be going on. But if it is going on, Lord have mercy on your soul. You hope you're not involved in any of that kind of stuff. But the thing is, with the food stamps, I think we're going to find a multi-state scam on the, the food stamps, too, is on the SNAP program, too, as well. Because I think there's probably about a third of all the people that are on food stamps that don't need it. They just don't want to go out and work. They just rather get a handout that's free rather than going out and working for it. Where have you seen a country where people just don't do anything and they get free money? There's no country in this world that does it. So why does America do it? It's not because we're kind and we're loving. We don't have the finances to do it. So we need to crack down on all this spend, spending, spending. we got to stop doing it. We've got to be accountable of our transactions. we got to be accountable of our finances. And we got to take the right steps and do the right thing. And fire the people that are not doing the right thing. You know, and arrest them or impeach them and arrest them if need be. But that's what we need to do. Or arrest, the, or arrest her if it's a, it's a woman doing it. Anybody. just you know, If they're not doing right and they're doing illegal stuff, they need to be taken out. They need to be taken and impeached and thrown in prison if need be. Answer for the crimes that they've done. You know, as far as the shutdown goes, this is immature. It's cold. It's wrong. And it's something that should not be going on. You hear those pops there? Those are transformers. You know why they're popping? Because Obama's closing a lot of the power plants. Remember how we warned you last year that Obama was going to start closing a lot of nuclear plants? Well, a lot of more power, a lot more transformers are all starting to pop because more trans more power coal plants are being shut down thanks to your president obama through his bill and the administration that's why that's happening you know and just like he's going to raise uh your, he's going to raise insurance he's going to bankrupt about a third or maybe two-thirds of the poor that are on social security that's what he said on last friday and that's what he plans to do in translation so i mean you know if you voted for this president you might want to think about it because this president is not for you he does not like freedom. He does not like America. He, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't, you know, want to have nothing to do with America. He wants it to be like a third world nation, just like it is in Kenya, because that's what his father wrote in the book called Audacity, what Obama wrote, which is what his father would like to see happen to America. And the more and more all the stuff's happening, we can see that happening because of that. We need to, we need to legislate. We need to peaceful and do legal process to do whatever we can to get these plants back and get them open. You know, nuclear is safe just like propane is safe if you use it responsibly and monitor it. But if you don't monitor it, then, of course, it can be very dangerous and very uh, lethal. But the thing is, you know, if everything has to be monitored, okay, you know, that's the way things can be safe. So anyway, this is me, Michael DeSilvis, from the Silvis' Media Channel, the Freedom Network, for the news for the 8th of October, 2013. This is a special report.